we met this guy when we were eating dinner the other night and he literally caught what? Like four, four or five. 15 pounds. A little bit on that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is that one? Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's a better one. That one? Oh. I'm gonna catch one right here for us. Not a bad one. That one? Good one? Yeah. We're out here where the 15 pounders live. If you guys saw in one of the last episodes, we came out on this little pond slash lake, squeezed in through the trees, got in the dirty stuff, and hooked some really big fish. And we're back at it for the second time today. Got my boy Fletch behind me. What's going on, Fletch Daddy? What's going on? We're ready, aren't we? Dude, I'm ready. When me and O came out here, we caught him, but it wasn't great. It was really slow. The conditions sucked. 35 degrees. Yeah, like it was like it was a hard cold snap for us. So we're hoping that we can come out here and now that we actually have more than an hour and a half, like really pick this place apart with some better conditions and search of a giant bass so if you guys saw in the last episode i hooked one towards the end of the video we were really just playing around and i i didn't handle it correctly it was my fault i ended up losing it and it was a megalodon guys it was a freaking huge bass so i'm gonna roll that clip right now sorry for that's a big one, dude that's the biggest one <gasps> if you want to go see that full video i will link it down below it's a banger man we had a good time oh, in that yeah, one great time. and uh today we're gonna have an even better time subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already like this video it really helps it out and i comment down below some video ideas and if you could share this video with a friend get somebody new and efficient let's go ahead and hop on the boat and see if we can catch some big ones so we actually have a better trail than, than the yeah. last time I, I told my dad about this place and he's like all right we got to get easier access in there because he wasn't going to do what we did to get into the pond. Well, dude, I, so. I even wore my thick hoodie, Fletcher, <laughs> because I thought, you know, I was like, I am not dealing with the spiders today. But good thing we don't have to, to mess with that. All right, the energy drink of today, Alani Cherry Slush. This is not a paid promotion, but this energy drink is good, man. This thing tastes so good. Not sponsored, but not sponsored, be. but should be. So Alani, if you're watching this, anybody who knows Alani, I don't know who Alani is, but hey, Alani, hit me up, okay? <laughs> On a real note. Okay, we're ready, man. It's actually really good. I'm, I know you're not too big in the energy drinks, are you? Yeah, you slurp them down like. I drink way too many, man. Way too many. I'd probably feel better if I didn't drink energy drinks. To be fair, so this was a. A little nice spot um we we caught some good fish down here on this side but the first spot that we yeah, really caught him on was that uh stick right out here yeah no we you want to start off there yeah let's definitely let's say we start off there guys i'm going to show you what i'm throwing kind of kind of go through that whole shazam we're going to try some different things today too we, we actually got a, a secret rig that we were using down in florida we just got back from our florida trip those videos are going to be dropping very soon we got some bangers dude got some bangers no doubt we absolutely smoked them and uh i think you know there was like eight of us there but me and fletcher we both got a tournament win too both of us did fishing it was two different tournaments so different tournaments. yeah we got some really cool content coming out um i think you guys are going to enjoy it we caught some really good fish and you know all in out was a fun trip but today it's time to catch a freaking 10 pounder because we didn't get a 10 pounder on the trip i know i mean if we had eight guys fishing heavily in some exploded florida lakes and, and no no eight eight to ten the twelve biggins, pounds they just avoided us man they're elusive hey we got some big ones oh we, we, got, we, we got caught big we caught big just, ones just no eight nine ten pounders you know no certified hey one was almost eight this is what we're going to start off with i've been addicted to the old thunder cricket and this is actually one of the thunder crickets that's going to be coming out soon this one's tungsten so this is a three eighth ounce even though it looks a lot lighter it's white and chartreuse, and I got like a Strike King Blade Minnow on the back. This is what I was killing them on in Florida, so we're gonna try it today. The last time I came out here was a Blade Minnow as well that was, I was catching the big ones on. I have this paired up on my Kicking Their Bass TV X Lose Baitcaster combo. You can check out the baitcasters and the spinning rods on kickingtheirbass.com. I will link it down below. And you guys need to order these by the 15th of December to receive them by Christmas, so in a couple days. So make sure you go down, cop yourself one, get your brother a nice Christmas present. 
and uh yeah let me know what you guys think but let's go ahead and get started first things first i gotta retie fletch yep not doing it not doing that I, i'm pretty sure i broke off on the megalodon out there too i don't know it's actually a crazy story i'm not gonna spoil it i'll leave it for the other video but it, it was it was a crazy moment i broke off one fish on the trip and we'll never know how big he was but how it how it all played out after i broke him out off and the boat next to us caught a fish that was uh let's just say very large yeah large to say the least yeah so maybe he he stole my fish maybe he did maybe he didn't we're gonna tie this chatter donk or uh thunder cricket on with a uni knot we're gonna get after it i, I think it's more of uh right there fletch right yeah it's kind of like right where that little point comes out so yeah right at the right side of that so the cool part about today's episode is we already have experience on this pond slash lake. And why I call it a pond slash lake is because it's not big, but it's not small. <laughs> it's kind of, it's, it's a good... It's like in between. You know what somebody commented on my video? It was, very, it was a very interesting comment. He said, the difference between a pond and a lake is that ponds are shallow. And I was like, that is just not true. Yeah. <laughs> that is just not true. I'm sorry, but it's just not. <laughs> not, not to be the party pooper, but you know. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. This, I mean, this could definitely be considered a small lake for sure. Yeah, yeah. But um, anyways, guys, the cool thing is we have experience here. We came here the other day, and we were hunting, figuring this place out. Today we have more of an idea. But then again, we don't need to get caught up on what we did last time. Just away from the boat, but it's to the right. Do I have fish? Oh, I, I do have a fish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was like, it's kind of moving around weird. And we couldn't catch one on a slow bait <laughs> the whole day last I night. I know, I know. I think I caught one on the jig or two on the jig at the end, but I mean, good Lord, they wouldn't need anything last time. Look at my bait, bro. That's a small one to get started. Dude, I think that fish had it in its mouth for probably 15 seconds before I realized <laughs> it. And wherever this is pointing is right at it, right? I thought there was a couple patches of it. Yeah, I know there's some down there. There he is, buddy. Yeah. That's not a big right one, on, but probably right on that stuff. Yeah. Not a big one, but we're both on board for our first fish. Okay. You got to get started. Started somehow. Couple nice bass to start off. Got to get our confidence up. That's what, that's what it's about right there. You guys are wondering how it's working. It just. Letting this thing hit the bottom, you know, it's not too deep in here. I'd say it's the average on five to six foot. It's a little deeper in the other corner, but letting this thing hit the bottom and just slow reeling it. Nothing fancy. I mean, he just loaded up on it. We're gonna try out this fluke. Fletcher's flipping like a little Texas rig. So game hog. I think it's not a bad idea to throw this fluke up on this grass. Remember that? I broke off that one on the jig. Dude, one exploded in that far corner. Oh, uh, for Daya, you broke the one off on the jig. That could have been a giant, too. Yeah, it could have been a really good one. Hey, remember he bit me like twice, and yeah. it was a good little bite, too. I just didn't get him. Pleasure, we gotta go fish that. That lake. Yeah. Yeah. I'm down. These fish don't know what no punching rig is. Another smaller one, hmm. Stwinky? Little Twinky. You never saw Stwinky. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. Is that a big bite? Dude. Oh gosh. Crushed it? 
I mean, that bike was crazy. I was so distracted by whatever the heck was going on over there. Like, I had my whole rod tip. Come on, eat it again. You had to have followed it out. I mean, there should be fish on that. They either pull off that flat and they get on that side or they can pull yeah. up in the grass. Good one? Yeah. Good one? Like I real good? So. I got him still hooked. I think I got him hooked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please tell me you don't come on. I think I still got him on. You wanna grab him? Maybe hold a rod or maybe yeah. I can take my jacket off. You hear that? Yeah. Might have came on. Oh, look at all. Look at all. See how you can punch yeah. in there? Is he still on there? Dang, dude. That was a good fish. Oh, that sucks, bro. Yeah, that was some thick stuff I had yeah, in that there. That was a good one. That was... I saw a pretty good splash in there. That was no okay. small fish. Did you get a good look at him? Um, no, I, I really never got it. I just saw his big boil. I mean, that, that doesn't says enough there. Now, if you get a close you can see behind here, like where yeah. there's like. You could flip up in there. Dang it, bro. I knew I was going to get bite doing that. Oh. That felt so good, though. That, <laughs> <laughs> that felt so good. That Bad sucks. But... Rush. <laughs> yeah, do you have any more of these curls and punch bugs? Yeah, yeah. Son of a biscuit, dude. That felt so good. I didn't really feel him thump, but it was just weight. What is, is this? 7-Eleven heavy. Um, I don't think I have any rage bugs, but there's menaces. Menaces, menace Dang, boys. Well, we got our first punch bite. <laughs> hey, I mean, that felt good, bro. <laughs> yeah. You saw me lay the trap on him, too. I wasn't <laughs> playing no games. There wasn't even time for me to say anything to you. I was like, I gotta just, I gotta get them. Yeah, that happens a good bit with punching, man. It's just, part it's of part of the game. game. Yeah, as sad as it, sad as it, it is. Yeah, but I mean, I, how many flips did I make? Probably like eight, you yeah. know, and and had a bite. I, I'll take a bite every eight flips. Is that deep in there? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Boys, I put a rage menace on this time. I had a one of those rage bugs on. Now we're going with the menace as a punching bait. A little more finesse. Let's see if we can get us another bite. I, I know we can. That sucks. That that was a pretty good fish. I can't even put a number on him, but when I mean, you saw his boil, yeah, I, I mean, mean I he had me torqued up in there. I don't think that. From the boil, I mean, I would say that fish was at least four or five pounds. Yeah, no, I, if I had to assume, that's what I was going to say. I don't think he's much bigger than five, but I mean, I think it was a, a good bass. He hit it on the second pump. Oh, he really? on there. Yeah. I mean, I didn't feel him hit it, but he loaded up on it type, yeah. type deal. Oh, that's, dude, that's the best feeling in the dang world. <laughs> I'm telling you, out of any type of fishing, like I love frog fishing, I love, I love all types of fishing, but something about a, a punch bite, if you guys haven't experienced it, it's just like, I don't know what it is. I, I really, I really will have to say that that might be my top bite. I would always say a uh, frog, but I like them both, man. But this, this is something else. When you just feel that, just. And he didn't even do it too hard. I mean, he just had it. And then just setting back on that fish and he's stuck in the grass and you're like fighting him to get him out. Dang shark week. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good feeling. Right here, dude. You ready? Let's see it. Six pounder. That one? 
Dude. Is he still on? <laughs> I freaking hope so, but I don't want to go up on that. Dang it. Oh, he's on there. He's on there? Yeah, 100%. I don't think he's big. <laughs> yeah, you see him? See his mouth? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's small one there. <laughs> All this for freaking. I said six pounder and I was. <laughs> Dang it, fish. Your uncle was under there with you. <laughs> Why you gotta be so stingy? Ah. I want to say I knew from the start that one wasn't a big one. That that one back there, I that felt one, him. He had he me. had some weight on him. Oh. <laughs> what in the world? The fish had a rude awakening this morning. <laughs> Wait, I don't even have him hooked. What? Bro, my line is going through his lip. Look. <laughs> Just like that? Yes. I don't even have the fish hooked, bro. <laughs> hey, actually, my hook's in here. Oh, your hook's still in there? Yeah, my hook's in the... <laughs> <laughs> I gave him a piercing, bro. I don't think I've ever seen that. Here, just hold my, hold my stringer. Oh, All right, yeah. thank you. <laughs> All right there, bud. You see the hook? <gasps> I almost went in, dude. It's right. So you can cut it. I got another flipping hook. I don't have another flipping weight though. I got it. I got it. <sighs> okay, that, that's. Oh. You were way too much work. You got me huffing and puffing. I mean, am I crazy? Or is that a little too much work, Fletch? For, that, for, that was a lot of work for, for a, a freaking 12 inch or. <laughs> I destroyed you. I'm sorry, buddy. I gave it to him. I, it was supposed to be your uncle. Like, it, you, you know, I didn't mean to pierce you up like that, Jimmy. Yeah, Fletcher, I, I knew when I hooked him. I'm just not the same. They're just yeah. built different. Hey, well, but I, what I will say is I knew I was going to get a dang bite in that patch. <laughs> it looked too good. My thing is, he made me ruin a perfectly good patch. Big? Yeah, dude, that looks big. That's big. a better fish? Yeah, dude, that looks big. That's a better fish? Oh, stick. I'm about to say, it ain't really Gosh, it was, it was moving. It was moving. <laughs> dude, that, <laughs> dude, that fish bit good. I'm telling you. We shouldn't have to freaking wrestle a gorilla to pull a freaking <laughs> one pound bass out of a patch of grass. I'm feeling this patch. That's the best looking patch I've seen. Yeah, it's deep. Too, I just got to pick my poison. No, no one pounder's biting this. Like I, <laughs> once he bites it, it ruins the patch. I mean, I can always come back here in about 20 minutes, but it's like, once the boat gets pulled up on there, it, this better be the, the dinosaur of a bass that bites me the first time. Just got solid three and a half foot, at least underneath. Come on fish, I know there's one in this patch. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't fooling me. I know you're in here. I just gotta know where to bop you on your little head somewhere. Come out. See, I got a 7-Eleven in the Signature Series too, but I think that Super Duty 7-Eleven is even like, just cause it's extra heavy. Yeah. Ooh, dude, I might just got it. That one? Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's a better one. That's a better one. Look how dark he is. I know. <laughs> That's a bunch of bass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. One of those grass. Look at that, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, boys. Our first, like, nice punching bass. I think that first one you had was better than uh, that Yeah, one. he was. He was. That first one was at least four to five. I'll take a three-pounder punching, though. Because look how dark he is. You got one? Yep, it's doubled up. No way. Yeah, yeah, you do. Uh, that's not that big. <laughs> a little turn. We're catching a very wide variety, so hopefully we'll end up hooking like a 13. That's just kind of different than these. This little fish just. What a tank. You, dude. What a tank. That's how a uh, a flawless punch fight goes right there. Yeah, just get, get them right out. Well, I knew there was going to be one in that patch. It took the last little flip of that section, dude. He was right. 
He's right there. Yeah, he's in the middle of that. Well, guys, we had, you know, we had a good bit of luck, had three punching bites. There's this other bank, and uh, when Fletcher came out here the other day, he said this one's slightly deeper. So we're going to try this out down this grass line. Punch a little bit more because I just think we can get a really big one doing that. Then we might go off offshore a little bit and throw a little bit of chatter donks. Uh oh, dude, I heard that up in there. Dude, dude, that felt so freaking good. Barely got him hooked. breaks loose the second you get that bite on a punching rig. Uh, you know what's crazy? He bit it out on the edge, on the out of the grass. It was my last pop, and it actually, it, I hopped it out of it. And boom! It was my first little pop, and I felt it go out of the grass, and that's when I felt him tick it. Yeah. Like through through the slack of the line. I heard a fish pop back here too. You think I have to risk it for the biscuit? Hey, go for it, dude. You're, you're feeling a little nutty. Just a little bit on the edge, bro. That was a pretty slick bite. Oh, oh, oh! Like, can you help? Oh, dude, I thought he was bigger. He looked like a freaking uh, oh, snake head. Though. Yeah, it's like a four pounder. That's a good one. Oh. Heck yeah. I'm bring him up to you, buddy. There we go. Ooh. Oh, that hook <laughs> got me, dude. Damn. You got it? Yeah, we're good. <laughs> you good, bro? Yeah, dude. I just like went down to grab his lip and all I grabbed was hook. <laughs> I just like straight hook, dude. Right in my thumb. But is a certified meat daddy that's a thick boy oh yeah thick. when i first looked at me it almost looked like a mudfish or like a snake head which was interesting but that is a great thick body bass second one punching that was probably what my third flip and two fish they're both pretty good ones but yeah let's go ahead and get this puppy back in the water right when we find the right depth that's where these fish are and that's a beautiful one right there solid i'd say three and a half i wouldn't say quite four there she goes. That a boy. Let's get it, dude. But that fish got me a real good. That hook went pretty deep. Yeah. Right that, thank God it didn't barb. Fletcher, that's a hook to be barbing too. <laughs> yeah. That ain't no little EWG, you know. Mm -mm. Thank God it didn't go in your hand. Yeah, you went right. <laughs> I noticed that you were trying it to grab one. It could have barbed and just ripped out because I mean it's bleeding pretty dang good. <laughs> Fletcher, I was about to freak, dude. I just thought it was like a 10 pounder that just couldn't move his body. He was so fat. <laughs> I was like, dude, we got something serious going on here. You know, the, the one where I just caught those two back to back, I thought there was going to be another one. Like, usually they'll just stack like that. I'm gonna catch one right here, Fletch. A little invention definitely has a fish. There you go. Not a bad one. Golly, you took off, man. <laughs> you called that one. Yeah. I'm gonna catch one right here, Fletcher. Dude, I'm talking. It couldn't have been a more beautiful hook set. Right. And on a more up. pretty fish. Look at that. That is just a beautiful chunk right there in the top of her mouth that's what it's about called the shot too that was there might be another one in there look at these fish man like that's just a beautiful little swamp donkey fish is almost no way nice buddy so keep it up pretty much a double up 
I'm gonna have you take this. I'm gonna have to have you take my fish off because this is like the second I take finger. my thing. Yeah, it just starts bleeding. I'd rather not miss. It's all good, dude. I am fish used to line. this. There's Fletcher's fish. Thanks, man. Yeah. My finger is bleeding profusely over here. <laughs> Fletcher's finger, when he touched that flipping hook, just. Yeah, I mean, it just sliced me, dude. Yeah, these hooks aren't no joke. I'll get you. I'll get you. You think there's another one in there? Maybe. No. Like nothing, we're not catching a ton of small ones. We're not catching a ton of big ones. It's just very like. Sporadic. Sporadic, nothing consistent. I don't know, the last like I'd say five fish have been really good. That one you just caught a thing was a little smaller. Yeah, yeah a little bit on the smaller But side. between your last two and my last three, they've all been between two and a half and three pounds, I feel like. Yeah. Very good fish. Dang, that, that one I missed on the punch rig. I think that was one of them. That first one? Yeah, I think that was a good one. I think that one was the best one anyone took so far today, for sure. Yeah. Do you want to switch with me? Like switch uh, spots? We can, yeah. It might be easier for you. Because I don't like cutting you off, but I have to pitch like this. Yeah, no, you're fine. You want to switch with me real quick? Don't matter to me. I feel like you'll be able to kind of cast parallel with that line. It might be more productive for us. Yeah. Uh, that was beautiful here we go i'm trading with fletcher guys so he can kind of i feel bad so i'm kind of cutting them off because i have to <laughs> flip like this it's not like i can go yeah no, yeah you're good you know make more Damn. sense make more sense for him to probably be up there right now oh i got one nice dude yeah. that's a good one too my drag dude my drag somehow got loose oh yeah good what two pounder oh yeah. Nice little two pounder. You weren't through that grass, were you? Or just yeah, on the that's edge? That's a pretty good one. Dang, that is a nice one. That's two and a half all day. I have to have your help again. Shoot, Fletcher, that might be a. Dude, that's close to three, I buddy. I know. I was like, she's got some sneaky size to it. Yeah, that's. Dude, that's like a three. <laughs> yeah, she looked like two in the water, but. I appreciate it. I already got to do this for my dad, dude. It's not. Yeah. not <laughs> I just try, try to like take this off and then get fish slime all yeah, over. Yeah, I don't blame you. Do you have pliers My though? Cut. Uh, yes, they're right under your left foot. Dave's nice. <laughs> Dave's. There we go. There you go. Appreciate it, boss. I was just about to tell you, rinse off your bait, but you're not allergic, so. <laughs> yeah. There we go, Fletcher's fish. That's a good one, dude. So, definitely a three pounder. Yeah, that one. Nice, dude. Okay, we're getting we're getting better size. I like it. I we're like doing it. something. We're, we figured out. We got a pattern for sure. Yeah, we do have a pattern. I think there's definitely a pattern to catch them offshore, but this shit, this, this is working. I mean, this is fun. You know. <laughs> I'm yeah. having fun. Oh, nice. Back to back? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I tried to like hook set soft because that was one of them weird. I will say, with you being, with me being in the front punching, I feel like it, <laughs> as far as hook set wise, it yeah. might be better. I'm not gonna. I will say the hookup ratio has been like. Yeah. Not even with a freaking uh, snail knot. Well, there we go. It's a pretty good one, right? Yeah. Oh, he's got my. <laughs> Fletcher. He has my bait. <laughs> I almost released him with the souvenir. <laughs> right as I said, we're getting on some good ones, and then I punch like a one pounder. <laughs> That's how it goes sometimes. Yeah. But yeah, guys, this Rage Menace has, has kind of been. You know, I've been punching the black and blue. Let's try the green pumpkin blue swirl. That's a beautiful color. This water's not dirty enough, in my opinion, to have to use the black and blue, you know? Yeah, it's stained, but it's still got some clarity to it. It's not stained enough for you to have to use a June bug or a black and blue, you know? Yeah. Watch this color be. God, that right there looks money. Yeah, it does. You calling it? I'm, I'll let you have it in that back side. Right there? Yeah, that's good. You calling it? I'm gonna try to call it. Okay. We're gonna do our best. I'm gonna throw one extra one in there just to increase our odds. <laughs> that one? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's a good one. 
Real good? Yeah, let me see. I think this is a good one, dude. Good. I don't know. It's like he's light, but he's. Oh, yeah. He's, he's a good fish. Respectable size. Mm -hmm. Two and a half pounder. <laughs> yeah, but guess what he did? He ate it on the fall, dude. Hmm. I just picked up this, chat, this uh, Thunder Cricket. Yeah, that's a good one, Fletcher. Look at that. Yeah, you landed like right on that tree. I just threw him behind you and I hit the tree. Yeah. He hit it on the fall. I mean, I cranked it. He was already on. Right on the head like that? Yeah. Because I was like, is it that shallow there? Because, yeah, dude, it wasn't sinking. That's crazy. He was more at the top of the water column, too. So, guys, this is just an example, too, of, you know. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I just want to hook so that. I felt like a bite, but I kind of got ahead of myself. But, yeah, it shows that we could do a little bit of everything here. You know, we're catching fish on some of these more offshore brush piles here. And uh, you also got some of the grass that you can punch and flip, you know, kind of play around with. There's, it's pretty versatile, especially today. I mean, we've caught fish doing both. I'd say more of the better fish have came in the grass. Did you see that? Yeah. Have you ever lost a rod doing that? Knock on wood, no. <laughs> Still on coming? He's on there, dude. Might have some fishing line or something. He reeled me up on it. That's a stomp. Yeah. Got some wood there, boy. Like, I'm down in a crevice. That sucks. Snapper. I mean, I can't get it. Yeah, it's a stump. I can feel it. Wow. Dude, you are so strong. And now I'll break off on a... <laughs> I mean, dude. Ooh. Look at how I had to pop that line, that bro. That's crazy. It just... And then I'll break off on a fish. It makes zero <laughs> sense. I can't even pop that with my strength. So I can tell you, even a 10 pound bass ain't stronger than I am. That's crazy. Guys, I'm trying another one of these on. This is actually, I like this too. It's got the, the one I had had like a matte white blade. This one's got like a gold blade. So this is the tungsten thunder cricket that's going to be coming out soon. I got to kind of play around with it in Florida when we were there and we took some back. And to be honest, man, they're pretty cool, man. I like it a lot. Like a lot more than that standard Thunder Cricket. You see that to your left, Fletcher? Is that bait? Uh, kind of looks like it. Maybe. I don't know. I don't feel any wind for that the water to be doing that. Let's figure us out a trailer. I think we're going to go with like the smoking shad color. Out, like around here is all like five foot. Pretty, pretty steady. That's why a lot of that grass is so good. You got that good drop off. Oh yeah, there's a fish on the bottom. I saw one. Up on there? Yeah, somewhere up in there. Some good depth on it. Yeah. How about it? Oh, he's on your line. It's a nice one. Yeah, there you go. That's a good one. There it is. Mid three again. Kind of got small mouse on them. Look how fat they are, though, bro. Look at that fish. Just chunky, man. Look at that bass right there. I mean, I mean, hey, they say that fat and get a little bit longer. Look at that thing. Just imagine that big one I hooked, bro. I'm telling you, he was like that, but in 10 pounder form. <laughs> yeah. When he came up, that's what I saw. I was like, dude, these fish are just so fat. I had an extra 10 inches on them. Mm -hmm. See, look, now that fish was a little thicker, a little fatter. That was an isolated patch right there. Yeah. And it had good water underneath. I mean, it wasn't. Are you in the, up in it? Yeah. Dude, he ran out of the freaking thing. I didn't even have to hook set him, really. Like, I, do you notice when I hook set, it wasn't tight? <laughs> oh, well, I, I don't, 
I don't know. I just went straight down. You, you looked away from that. I, don't I was trying to get beamed in the head by a, by a big old tungsten bullet weight. I do not blame you. Yeah, no, I, I hooked that and he was already out of the freaking thing. Yeah. He was just running. It's like there was no pop in my hook set. It was just straight up just like, let me put a little pressure on him to hook him. That's all that was. He pulled down on it like crazy, dude. Yeah. Like, yeah, that was the first one that like... Yanked it? Yeah, like I've been feeling him hit it, but I haven't felt him like pull down on me. That one pulled down on me hard. That's what I like. <laughs> Plus like sometimes... That one? Yeah. Tiny, dude. <laughs> Tiny. Look at this thing. You ain't even supposed to eat that. He ate it on the fall, too. <laughs> Look at that. It's so crazy, like, just the mixture of fish we've caught today. We've caught some big ones. We've caught some mediocre ones. Nothing very big, but nothing. Some straight-up small fry, man. <laughs> Good luck with that. That was pretty crazy. He had like, like almost. Oh, here he is. Got him still? Yeah. I should. I felt him shake his head as I went up with it. Yeah. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> hey, it's, it's this one pass with these small fish, man. Poor guy. Poor dude. That was the same one you hooked earlier. The small one that you caught in this. You can tell he was a poor man will never eat a fish in, in a grass mat again. Are you bait in the grass mat? Yeah, and uh, that fish is dark too. Living up in that stuff. Oh, nice, dude. <laughs> yeah. The Flora rig. Let's go. The old Flora this rig. This is the ultra light punching setup. <laughs> Heck yeah. This is the new category, guys. I said there gotta be more in there. Sure enough. Sure enough. A little, a little chunk of swords. It's pretty. It's like three times the size of a normal frog. Really? Yeah, I can get some next time. Oh yeah, that'd be good for a video. Oh. <gasps> That was him, dude. How big was Four he? pounder. Really? That was him. I, I literally saw his whole body and come out Man. and swim. You can see it on the GoPro too. Look at not up my line. Oh. That sucks. That was him, dude. Biggest one today. I actually saw him with my eyes too. Yeah, I turned my head the second you hook set. Mm. Wait, I'm, in, I'm in the uh, danger zone. <laughs> he eat it fast. Yeah. He just kind of grabbed it when it was at the top, so yeah. it wasn't like you had. He was already awkward. in the grass, you know, I couldn't, yeah, it was that awkward. He was right there, though. And he, he flew out of that. I mean, that was, dang, that sucks, dude. Guys, that is going to conclude today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And share this video with a friend. Get somebody new in the fishing. This was some exciting fishing today. We didn't get the 15-pounder, but they live in here. Because I believe that old man, don't you? I believe, I believe that old man. From that last time, the one I lost, I believe him. That's all I need to see was one giant to, up. to believe him. That's I know I was a little iffy at first, but then when I saw that, I was like, yeah, they're in here. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next one out here. We're gonna catch a freaking monster. I'll catch y'all in the next one.